Hi everyone. Today in this video, let's see how to use developer camera and do truck teleportation or go to any city you want in Euro Truck Simulator 2. So first what you need to do is if you are running Euro Truck Simulator 2, exit the game, go to documents, your documents folder and Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder. In that you will see a file called config.cfg, this file. Now open it with a text editor. By default, it might not be associated with a text editor, so you might have to do right click and open with and any of the text editor like Notepad or anything. I'll open it with uh, Notepad++. This is the text editor tool that I use. By the way, this is an awesome tool that uh, for text editing. Uh, if you don't use it, I highly recommend you to download it. It's a free download. It's actually named Notepad++. You can download it and it's a direct installation. So in this, you search, we need to change couple of parameters in this file. The first one is uh, G underscore console. So you need to search for, uh, you need to search for console. So you will see uh, uh, a variable called G underscore console. So this will be zero by default. You need to change it to one. I've already done this. That's why you're seeing one. This will be zero by default. You need to change it to one. The second parameter is G underscore developer. So you search for developer. This also will be by default zero. This is the developer option. You need to change it to one. So you make sure you change these two parameters. In case if you're not able to find in notepad or something, there will be two options like go down and go up, change that option and then search again. So you change these two parameters to one. You save the file and close it, right? And then you launch Eurotruck Simulator 2 game. Continue with your profile. Go to drive. So now uh, you already know the basic camera features, right? The one number one is the inside view, number two is the outside view. Till now you used one to nine, right? Now there is a new key added by develop by enabling the developer configuration. That is number zero in your top row, right? Number zero. This is the actual developer camera. By default, it starts from the bottom of the uh, truck. This is the default position. Now you can move this camera in any way you want. So what you need to do is use the number pad 8 to move the camera forward, uh, 6 to move the camera right, 4 to move the camera left, left and 5 to move the camera backward, 9 to move the camera upward and 3 to move the camera downward. This is the and then mouse with the mouse you can position it anywhere like you can look anywhere so i'm just moving the camera using the uh, arrow key sorry number pad keys 8 4 5 6 and 9 and 3 so i'll show you again this is 8 this is 5 this is 4 this is 6 this is 9 and this is 3 now uh, by scrolling the uh, your scroll button on the mouse right scrolling it forward and backward will increase and decrease the speed of this camera so what you can do is i'll show you like i'm going forward if i scroll forward right the speed goes up similarly if i scroll backward right the speed goes down so i'll show you like i'll put it in a higher speed now i'm going fast i scroll backward and the speed slows down dramatically so by th through the scroll key you can uh, control the speed dynamically like on the fly you can control this increase and decrease the speed plus you can move the camera anywhere around uh, using the number pad keys 8 5 4 6 9 and 3 so you can go to any place you can move the camera anywhere you want and let's say you're completely lost and you don't know like where the truck is or you went somewhere underneath or somewhere like what you can do is you can again press zero so that it will again go to the default position and you can start from there. Now uh, I'll tell you how to teleport your truck from one place to another. So what you can do is you press zero and enable the developer camera. 
go to a new place let's say for example let's say your truck is stuck somewhere after driving and you are not able to move it you go to some place where you want your truck to be put the camera straight uh, to the near to the ground and press F9 till version 1.40 and control F9 in 1.41 just in 1.41 they have changed the control so till 1.40 you just need to press F9 but in 1.41 you just press control F9 so the truck just gets teleported to that location so anywhere you want to go what you can do is like uh, you can go to the let's say you want to take a job you go to whichever place you want to take the start the job from to a particular place go there and then you can just press f9 or control f9 in 1.41 it your trick just moves to there so this is the option to enable and use a developer camera and use truck teleportation now i'll tell you one more uh, cool trick now uh, you might have seen like uh, when people share their screenshots or images in the euro truck simulator too right that looks far better uh, than this that is because uh, they we can actually change the field of view or uh, when we are using a dslr camera you have the focal length the higher focal length will give you better compressed background and better looking portraits right similarly uh, you can change the field of view or focal length of this camera uh, in this game so how you will do that is you enable uh, you press the tilde key the key below the escape key to get the developer console and there you type in g underscore debug underscore camera space one so debug the camera is by default zero you enable by putting it one and press enter now again press tilde key to remove it now when you press uh, plus and minus of your uh, number pad right uh, on the right side you can see you are zooming in and zooming out you are not changing the distance from the truck but you are zooming out or zooming in so what i am saying is let's say you are zooming in right you can see the background uh, compression right the truck gets expanded or your focal length of the photo gets increased so that gives you a better looking portrait or screenshot than taking it by the default uh, field of view so if you press star that will again reset the field of view so if you go this close right you can see it more feels like uh, image taken with a very low lower uh, focal length so what you can do is you can go little far keep pressing minus key to zoom in or increase the focal length and then take the photo you can do this in video also like uh, maybe you would have seen it in some of my videos i'll show you so i set a particular movement speed and i'll press 5 and minus key together so that i am coming backward while i am zooming in at the same time which gives you a better perspective of the video so similarly you can do all these tricks let's say you you want to drive and take a video of it you can keep the camera speed in very low you can press the four key uh, to drag the uh, camera but at the same time you can drive too using your asw or arrow markers so similarly you can do any neat tricks uh, and in between let's say you want to pause the game you can press f1 which will pause everything you can go to a new camera location uh, let's say like this and then you can start the camera so slow it down you can start the camera moving press f1 and drive again that way you can have like multiple continuous shots too so this is the options to enable and run developer camera and uh, truck teleportation i'll tell you one more trick that will be handy so if you see we are in this city now let's say you want to go to a new city uh, instead of driving there or using the developer camera to manually move there what you can do is just press the tilde key again and type in go to goto the city name now you don't even have to specify the entire name you just need to give the starting uh, few uh, letters and it will auto search and find what is the first name that finishes with starts with that so let's say i want to go to this city i'll just type in gla s g o 
even if I don't type W right, it actually goes there. Press the tilde key again and press escape. So now your camera is uh, in the new city. So here, what you can do is you can uh, move the camera again, put it close to the ground and uh, press control F9 or F9 to move the truck there. So that now if you check the map, you are in the new city. So you can go to any city in zero time. Let's say you want to, I mean, it kind of takes away the realism of the game. But if you are uh, kind of using the game for other purposes, right, you can go to any city in instantaneous time. So the keyword is go to the city name. And you can always use, uh, after pressing the tilde key, you can always use upward arrow mark key, right, to get the previous commands, whatever you have used. So that is these two options. Now I'll tell you about one more option like uh, for this to use what we discussed is you need to use the number keypad right the number pad on the right side of the key your keyboard but majority of the laptop doesn't come with a dedicated number pad so if you're using uh, a laptop or your keyboard doesn't have a dedicated number pad what you'll have to do is you'll have to manually overwrite the controls for the debug camera so how you can do that is you can uh, ex exit the game because otherwise it will not update the file. So quit the game. Uh, again, go back to your documents and Euro Truck Simulator to folder. Inside this, go to your profile. Now understand, whenever we change the config.cfg, this happens for every profile because this is outside the profile. The developer mode is enabled for every profile, but the controls are profile dependent. So you go to your profiles folder, you might have, I only have one profile here. You might have multiple profiles. You need to identify which profile you use. So if you have been playing the game, if you sort it with date modified, the first one will be the profile that you used, the latest one. So double click that and inside that you will see a file called control.si, controls.si. Just again, edit this file with a notepad and search for something called dbg, debug. DBG, which stands for debug. Now you can see uh, this item right. Uh, config line 154 onwards. There's a debug forward, debug backward, debug left, and debug right. Debug up, debug down. These are the keys. Now you know, right? Like we have been using numpad 8, numpad 5. So let's say you want to use Y to go forward, you just change it to Y. So you use keyboard dot Y question mark 0. And let's say you want to use uh, H or G for camera moving backward, you change this num5 to your new key. So all these five keys you can change. So this is forward, backward, left, right, up and down. Also you can see two more here. Uh, so here this 127 and 128, there is an FOV up. FOV down and FOV reset. This is the field of view or the focal length. So as I told you, this is the numpad plus, numpad minus and numpad uh, multiply. Star is actually called multiply. So whichever key you want to use, you can just replace this with that. So it should be like keyboard dot your new key. Question mark zero. Once this is done, you save it. Now keep in mind only if you enable the debug camera first and run the game, these settings will be listed in the control.si so you'll have to run the game first and then come close the game open this file uh, modify these uh, keys and then uh, save it make sure your game is closed otherwise you the, the changes might not be applied properly so close this and then you can load the game again and use the developer camera with the new controls uh, I hope this has been helpful guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time.